So it's been a few months, weeks, years, something since the last time I did anything on this channel. So let's break that strike. No, no, no. The point is, let's do something. As you know, lately I've been having a... As you know, lately I've been having a kind of phase with photography here on the channel. This is a Polaroid Model 3. With a red skin on it before it had some brown skin on it. But uh, that kind of turned into dog shit. And when I tried removing it, it turned into potting soil. I kid you not. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this looks in 40 years. Actually, smells pretty damn nice. Of course, with the Model 3 being the lower end of the SLRs, well, this isn't even count as an SLR. It's this little viewfinder thing. And, uh, it's a little hard to figure out how far stuff is away. So you kind of have to guess in terms of how to use the thing. And you know, all these years I've knew about these, I always thought the film came out through the... F I always thought the film came out through the front. Now it comes out through the bottom. That little flap there. Pretty strange. And I also did that ND filter mod to this thing like I did to my box SX-70s. Because um, I don't trust myself with an iron. Especially with the way this thing is wired up with that stupid flash thing being on the top now. That's annoying. You see the issue here? It's a little... delicate. And I mean... It's just a spring holding it up. And even the manual says... You have to press down on the flash mod. I thought I scratched my watch there. It's a Seiko 5. I keep it on the shelf. They're all safe. These flash modules are more meant for... SX seventies. Really is top heavy. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, this came out in seventy six, and this came out in seventy seven. So technically speaking, this is older than that. Anyways, we're not really talking about the SX seventy today as much as I love to. And, uh, this thing deserves its own video of its own, even though it's more the lower end models. I still think this is a pretty great camera. If you want a Polaroid just for the pure fact of the folding thing, novelty, and skins, though so you ha probably have to cut the top one due to this part. So, pretty cool. old case for it, which smells interesting. Now, SX-70s aside, and I promise you there is no Chinese CRT on the side. I actually checked that a while ago. Better yet, it's one of these shit little black and white TVs from the 2000s. thing does not matter at all. Be gone. Be gone. That. Now what we have here is something most people would assume the film for it is completely gone. And I mean that at this point it's kind of the case. This is a Polaroid 320 camera. 
I don't know why I did that. Now, I think these earlier instant cameras, the pop outs, are pretty interesting. I mean, you have your little cover here, and then you just push up. And I think it looks hella cool. Take this off. And there you go. I mean, you could keep this on, but I usually take it off. Now this thing, she's a chunker. I mean, they made metal versions of this camera, but on the front here, you get your focusing. This isn't a fixed focus camera, but I think anybody who's seen these kind of accordion slinky style cameras, you kind of figure it out. And you get your speed adjustment. Your shutter. Basically, the kind of cock it back. I don't know what you call that exactly. And you just press. There you go. Back here, you have your viewfinder, of course, your little focusing hole, which actually isn't too bad. Your battery. Ow. Um, so this thing is supposed to take some sort of three volt battery. So I just took an 18650 cell and just kind of finagled the wires into each end of it. <laughs> No soldering, because I don't feel like getting out the iron. And so it just runs off of that. And I mean, it seems perfectly fine, even though there's a bit of a difference. Since we're going from 3 volts to 3.7, but I mean... She works, she works. I mean, it's not like it's going to be running off that battery all the time. Here's where you load your pack film. Not your traditional, oh my god, my thumb, thumb is getting crushed by the metal door over here. Not your traditional SX-70 or 600 film. I mean pack film. And here is a empty pack film cartridge. I'll explain what that is more in a second. And basically how this worked was... Once you take your photo and you wait a certain amount of time, you just pull it out and then you pull the photo, which um, in return runs through those rollers right over here, which is very similar to the later Polaroids, which use the same kind of method. Though in this case, you don't have to pull it through. Though there is one caveat to this. Um, you can't really get film, as I said, and there's a company that only sells these, but with one shot, I kid you not, one shot, you gotta hope to damn God you don't fuck that shit up. So, uh, film alternatives are a thing. Let's see here, I took some cardstock. And I made this little paper holder thing using the original pack film empty cartridge. Here's the fun part. Here is your Instax film. Instax film is backwards. And there you go. And then you take it. And she's loaded. Pull it back. Focus it. And, um. In my original design, it was where you actually pull it through the rollers. 
but that didn't really work out and i ended up wasting a whole thing of fuji film which still kind of hurts even though the shit is cheaper than polaroid film so uh my new method is just to take my sx70 remove the rollers and run that through that in the dark it's a little bit of a stupid owl process. And the results can vary. Because there's a lot of times where I didn't know if the camera was actually working or if the battery had anything in it. So imagine it's back in the 60s. The battery dies. You take a photo. But you don't even know what the photo is taken. And if you try to take another photo, you could risk double exposing the photo. Anyways. This was the end result, and this is what I'm talking about. Honestly, that is not bad. Just a little bit of a development issue. But honestly, that is bad pretty sharp well, it's a little weird having you know this big ass camera and using this little thing so anyways how about we put some film into this guy and we take a photo now the one caveat is there is no flash module or there is flash things but they use those flash bulbs and i don't have any nor I, i'm gonna invest any money into that because honestly i do not plan on using this camera all the time this was more of a fun little experiment for me so uh what i tend to do just take the module and since this thing has a test button I just hold it overhead or over the camera and as I'm about to hit the shutter I hit it at the same time and just go simple as that though it's kind of hard to hold this heavy fucker this heavy fucker <laughs> and this thing and trying to have it in sync with each other uh, lord all this just for one little photo In Stacks film. And honestly, this sh shit is really cheap compared to uh, natural stuff. Oh, here is the rest of my Stacks photos. We'll have a little gallery walkthrough, shall we? This is a breathtaking photo right here. It's, uh. Yeah. Oh, this is a banger. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Actually, you can kind of make out this one being my shelf, on my Polaroids and shit. This actually wasn't taken by the Polaroid, but this was put into my one step rainbow stripe, whatever. And since this is shot from the back, the image is actually inverted or flipped around. Perfect. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so anyways, what I have to do now is take this Instax film, load it into this caddy, in the dark, in the middle of the night, but it makes it pretty easy. I don't have to put myself in a closet or anything. So, uh, yeah, pretty easy. I mean, it's kind of convenient for this process for me to have a remote controlled fan. Even though I hate the crap out of it, because you know, you lose this thing, uh, Snacks film. Will I ever buy an Instax camera? If it's shit cheap, 
I don't care. Um, I don't have any actual Polaroid cartridges that are intact. Since I actually recently took all, all of my Polaroid cartridges and just kind of scrapped out all the batteries. Because of that eye type thing. Go check out that video. Anyways. What I have to do here in the dark is slip out this dark slide. Get a photo. Or a slide. And there you go. She's loaded. So uh, now for the fun part, we take a photo of something. So uh, yay. We'll get out our trusty potato. Who could say no to that face? Haters gonna hate. And this red Japanese Game Boy thing. I think it has batteries. What oh, does? Anyways. I'll do it like the website did. Where they put the protogen on the Game Boy. And you little nubby hands. Okay, more of that. I once heard somewhere you can use a cassette order to hold your phone because I don't know where my actual phone mount went so uh yeah so everything's focused up here um just gonna get our flash it's locked and loaded okay what you're gonna turn on Black light here. Be a little hard to see. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that felt fucking good. <laughs> yeah. We just shot Fuji film on an old ass 60s Polaroid or 70s. I have no clue when this model was even made. And you can do the same thing as the XX70. And there you go. Though it didn't really spread evenly. You can see where it kind of stopped at some points. Oh, this comes out good. Oh my god. Do you fucking see that? Oh my, I, I like how fast this thing developed, but holy shit. Wow. First try. Considering I held this thing under a plastic thing midway through because my thing cut out two times. That's impressive. That is super impressive. Look how sharp that is. Sure, there's a little bit of an error down here, but. Wow. You can get this quality. You know, if I would have knew, if I figured this out earlier, I could have seen so much film. I got this out of that. This big hunger of a camera. That is amazing. That is, as there's a hair. This photo out of this camera. I was waiting for like the battery to die or the flash to be out of sync, but wow. So I think we accomplished what we set out to do today. Probably one of my best photos that I ever taken. This camera a little bit of a de development issue, but still looks pretty damn good. So, yeah, I have nothing else to say. We're
the outro.